Now that we've learned a little bit about networks, let's build one. We'll start out building a LAN. Computers are the first building blocks of the LAN. We can network anything from basic PCs to multi-million dollar mainframe systems. Next, we must install network adapter cards in the computers. The adapter cards allows the computer to interface with the network. Then we cable all the computers together. We'll use an internal wiring structure, which is the most common method today. This is similar to the phone system. All the computers connect to the wiring structure via wall jacks. The wires lead back to the wiring closet. Next, we install a network switch in the wiring closet. The switch connects all the wires and allows communication to occur. Now it's time to install the network operating system software. The NOS server software is installed on a dedicated server. The client portion of the NOS is installed on each computer. And now our LAN is ready to go. We can allow remote sites to communicate with our LAN by adding a wide area link. To do this, we simply install a wide area module in the network switch. The switch is able to translate between the different networking protocols that are used for LAN and WAN networking. The network we built is typical of many networks found in small companies today. Larger organizations may have networks that contain tens of thousands of users, hundreds of switches, scores of servers, and multiple WAN connections. But <laughs> let's wait until a later module to open that can of worms.